Hi and welcome back to Free Cycle Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to name branch chain hydrocarbons. In the last video we looked at the rules for naming unbranched alkanes and alkenes. We saw that the prefix tells us the number of carbon atoms in the main chain. And in the case of alkenes, we use a number to show the position of the double bond. And remember that we start from the end of the molecule which produces the lowest numbers. So for example this molecule is called hex2ene, not hex4ene. OK, so in this video we're looking at how to name branch chain hydrocarbons. I'm showing you a branch chain hydrocarbon here. Branch chain hydrocarbons have a side chain or branch. Now I should point out that to make this diagram clearer, I've increased the length of the covalent bond shown here. However, in reality, this bond length would not be any different to the rest. OK, so how do we work out the name of this molecule? Well, we always start by identifying the longest chain of carbon atoms, and students sometimes get this part wrong. Starting on the left, we could have a chain of four carbon atoms like this. Starting on the right, we could have a chain of six carbon atoms. However, the longest chain is actually seven carbon atoms, and here they are. The alkane with a seven carbon chain is heptane. Next, we look at the number of carbon atoms in the side chain. In this case, the side chain has one carbon atom. Now, if we go back to our table, we know that one carbon atom has the prefix meth. This means that we call a side chain with one carbon atom a methyl group. Next, we need to state the position of the methyl group on the main carbon chain. To do that, we need to number the carbon atoms. Numbering from the left, the methyl group's on carbon 3. Numbering from the right, the methyl group's on carbon 5. Remember that we number from the end, which produces the lowest possible number. So this molecule is called 3-methylheptane. What if we had two methyl groups on carbon-3 like this? Well, now the molecule is called 3,3-dimethylheptane. Here's 3,5-dimethylheptane. Take a look at this molecule. I'd like you to try and name this. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK. First, we identify the longest chain of carbon atoms. Starting on the left, we could have a chain of four carbon atoms. And starting on the right, we could also have a chain of four carbon atoms like this and like this. However, the longest carbon chain is actually five atoms, and we can see those here. So this molecule is based on the alkane pentane. We have a side chain with one carbon atom, and I'm showing you that here. And we've already seen that a one carbon side chain is called a methyl group. Next, we need to work out the position of the methyl group on the carbon chain. The main carbon chain has five carbon atoms, and the methyl group's on carbon 3. So this molecule is called 3 methyl pentane. OK, what if we have two side chains and they're not the same? Take a look at this molecule. Just like before, we identify the longest chain and the names of the side chains. The name of the molecule is based on the longest chain, and the side chains are listed alphabetically with the lowest possible numbers. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, first we identify the longest chain. We have a chain of four carbon atoms here and six carbon atoms here. We have another six carbon chain here and a chain of seven carbon atoms here. However, the longest chain is eight carbon atoms, and we can see those here. And the alkane with eight carbon atoms is called octane. OK, now we identify the side chains. We have a one carbon side chain here, and this is called a methyl group. And we have a two carbon side chain here. Looking at the table, a two carbon side chain is called an ethyl group. Next, we identify the positions of the side chains. Numbering from the left, the methyl groups on carbon 3 and the ethyl groups on carbon 5. Numbering from the right, the methyl groups on carbon 6 and the ethyl groups on carbon 4. Remember that we start from the end of the molecule, which produces the lowest numbers, and side chains are listed alphabetically. So this molecule is called 5-ethyl-3-methyl-octane. OK, the same rules apply to branched alkenes. In this alkene, the longest chain has five carbon atoms, and the double bond lies between carbons 2 and 3. So this is based on the molecule pent-2-ene. 
we've got a methyl group on carbon 3. So this molecule is called 3-methyl pent-2-ene. Okay, so hopefully now you can name branch chain organic molecules.